guys, I'm back in the car and I am again debating if I'm going to go to um, the other side of the park where there may not be as many people so I can kind of get out and walk and, you know, be with nature. <laughs> so I'm debating. I'll, I'll figure it out. By the time I get around to the other side of the park. Um, but anyway, that was nice. But again, being around a bunch of people is kind of distracting. <laughs> and one thing about living in this area, in case what I was saying when I got in the car got cut off, I was saying that this area is just hard to get away from people. I mean, this park is literally five minutes from my house maybe seven minutes so obviously there are going to be a significant amount of people trying to enjoy what I'm trying to enjoy but again it's it's um it's a little challenging trying to avoid people but whatever so anyway, I'm going to go on the other side of the park where it's probably just people walking, but at least, you know, I can kind of talk and not have people looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, let's see. I am getting a little hungry, <laughs> but, um... I think I'm going to get out and walk a little bit more and um, go from there. So, um, next weekend, there's going to be uh, beginner's class beating class in my area that my friend and I are talking about going to. And she's been to the basic B work class before, but she went um, to Virginia Beach or Norfolk or Hampton or wherever um, because that group of women, um, whoever hosted it, uh, pretty much. Um, lives in that area so um with that said let's see if I can park right here that truck may not like it but they'll be alright ain't gonna be here too long plus they can just back up and go, and go around if they have an issue with that but anyway um it's going to be a B work uh, workshop and and I'm going to attend it it's going to be my first B workshop peeps okay it's okay park here I don't see no sign saying I can't park here so but you hear the noise? I mean, do you hear that? I mean, it's just, ugh. I wish it wasn't so busy. Ugh. And then I got to cross the road. Try not to get hit. These people are flying. Okay. So, like I said, there is a, there is a, um, a golf course here, so you got people golfing, And you got uh, people biking, and of course walking, and picnicking slash cookouting, and just enjoying it. Now, I 
guess this man is going back to his truck. Who I parked kind of in front, but he can just back up. It's not a big deal. Okay. Oh, there's also a soccer field and a baseball, softball field that's um, not necessarily part of the park, I don't think, but it's nearby. He's pulling off now. And he was able to get around my car. It wasn't that big of a deal, but you know how folks are when they don't want you to park in front of them. So anyway, I'm kind of going to walk down this path. This is the path I usually would take in the fall. Um, it has gravel. And it's nice and wide. Um, I got to kind of go over this little creek here. <laughs> Whatever, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay. So I'm not going to walk too long, but the part of this track that I would walk on um, is just covered with trees. It's almost like a canopy type thing, and it's kind of nice and pretty. Um, they also have like a little kid's um, playground over here to my left. That I'm walking up on right now. Little kids like, I don't know, toddler age, preschool age, um, age group that play over on this side. And once I get close to it, I will show you what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's, that's the field. I think it's a softball field. And, um, uh, Further down is the soccer, soccer field, so. Yeah, here you go. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but, you know, like I said, toddler, preschool age um, kids play over here. So this is, this is a nice park for smaller kids. It caters to them. sun forever <laughs> you can just enjoy the breeze it's nice to see people who are well to do to live in a well to do area who choose to enjoy the simpler things in life because we're so like consumed with stuff and going here and there and fancy this and the latest that and it's just nice to see people who don't have to live you know simple actually enjoying living a simple life just having a healthy lunch out at the park having a picnic spending time with their children you know, it's nice. So anyway, this is the part of the trail that is pretty much um, is um, covered. So and this trail goes on and on and on for at least I don't know two miles, and then becomes like private property, um, like a neighborhood, and. Um, um, and then it's really off the beaten path. Like you can go further in, but there's no gravel path or anything like that. Um, you're on your own pretty much, poison ivy and all. I, I saw, um, I saw um, a fox once 
And I also saw, well, I smelled a beast. I don't know what kind of beast it was, but it smelled like a big stank beast. I don't know if it was um, a deer or a bear or something like that, but it's, oh, there is a deer. Look at that. I hope you all can see this. Can you see? There's two of them actually. That's cool. Let me see if I can get Calissa. That's what I'm talking about, peeps. Like, I definitely want to take um, precaution. Because <laughs> you can see any kind of animal out here. And in this case, I'm seeing deer. Can you see them? They're like very brown looking. <laughs> and that woman just stopped and she saw them too, so. But yeah, um. Anyway, so I'm sure they're used to people and noise and stuff. And so they probably feel comfortable in this area because they're not gonna be uh, shot or ran over unless they run in the road of course but this this area right here you can tell that they're you know used to noise and then you have I don't know what's going on over here maybe horseshoe people are playing horseshoes and then over there you see uh, just piles of tree branches old tree branches to me it kind of remind me of Blair Witch Project but whatever <laughs> But, um, but yeah, it's, you know, people walking their dogs and definitely enjoying being outside. And this is what I love. This is what I love. This is my element, but without all the people, of course. So anyway, peeps, I'm about to walk back to the car. I just wanted to give you all a glimpse of what I was doing today or what I planned it to do today and just letting you all um, see a different scenery and um, go from there. So again, this is your girl, Black and Indigenous American, coming to you live. Well, not so much live when you actually watch this, but it is a current video. Wow, a current video. Can you believe it? <laughs> but anyway, be blessed, love yourself and love others. Take care. And um, until next time, toodles.